All right, first up, we're gonna compete to see who gets the highest budget. So there's a $10 budget, a $20 budget, and a $100 budget. Inside each of these balloons, there is one of those three bills. We're gonna pop the balloons, see who gets what budget, and then we're gonna build a body armor. So we're filming some Yee life. Parker's really frustrated right now. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. We're filming Yee life, doing a little behind the scenes with this video, because we're, we are going to make body armor that could withstand a 50 cal. So we're gonna do that with a $10 budget, a $20 budget, and a $100 budget. And we're gonna buy the armor from Dollar Tree. <laughs> That's the idea. But then we just found out my cousin Chad is going to land at the Yee farm. We haven't had a plane, we've had a helicopter land here, but we never had a plane land here. So this will be your first time, and Brian's a pilot, so that's right. He's going to. Uh, we gotta go make sure the grass is short enough so he can land. The wind is good today, clear skies, so we don't have time to mow though. Sure don't. So he texted me at 10:39 and said 30 minutes, and it's currently 10:58. So he's on his way. They're taking a toilet out here <laughs> to do a quick like TikTok video, sitting on the toilet. While wow, a plane's flat <laughs> planes landing, which makes no sense. Wow, oh, we did it. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> he did some mudding. I about that road there. <laughs> I did too, that's scary. What's up? What's up? Man, we forgot about that road bump, huh? Man, I was like, uh oh. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> It, it handled pretty well. You, I mean, you hit a pretty big bump. Yeah, I was like, man, I hope that doesn't uh, hit the prop. But... God, it's so light. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it weighs like about uh, 1,080 pounds. Did you mess it up at all? No, 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 no. Oh, you got a little grass right here, look. Yeah, I'm going to get some of these. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that scared me. Just clipped it right there, but it sounds good. Yeah. Got a little grass, grass right there. Right there. <laughs> and you you warned me about that road the first time we came out here. You're like that road and then next time we'll take you by the fence line because that then see it's straight over there. Yeah, but you got those power up. Cause now I could see visually see how long it takes you to slow down. Well, I came in too fast. I should have gone around and and um, done it again but I was fine except for that bump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you would have just come right around here, there's no bump. And I think you would have been totally fine if you'd gone that this direction. Cause you had plenty of room for, you don't have to worry about that power line. Yeah, there was plenty of room. I was just trying to bleed speed off. <laughs> That's cool. All right, Brian, you got to do it now. He, it's been done. You know, it's been done. <laughs> I saw you had to slip in there just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> coming down. Hey, oh, good to see you. I didn't know you were coming. Yeah, well, I got to pick him and go finish a little job. Probably okay. two hours. Okay. What you doing? Setting up for Bible study. You always doing a Bible study. I'm always doing something. <laughs> it's windy today. It is. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Hot. Chasing around a two-year-old. Yeah, it is hot. We've actually had some really pretty calm days with no wind. And now the winds, the mighty Texas winds have picked up. It's actually, blowing everything everywhere. It's actually not hot. I'm just well, tired from chasing a two-year-old. It is 79. Perimenopausal. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it is 79 degrees. Hey, Baba. Hey, Baba. You playing with jazz? What are you guys doing? Wait, everything. You're doing everything? Everything. 
Okay. Disclaimer. <laughs> Hello. 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 So I want to show everybody the the what's going on. We haven't showed everybody the house in a while. Yeah, we'll go outside. Hey, you want me to go show everybody the flowers? Yeah. Okay. Let's go show everybody the blue bonnets are in peak right now. In fact, they're just coming off peak, and I want to show everybody that this is the greatest year that I've seen this. Probably the greatest blue bonnet year since we've lived here, since 2020. What? Mommy, you go with you. I'm going to go with you. All right, well, Chase, come find me. Chase me. I'm going to go to the flowers. He's going through a mama phase right now. Big time. Let's go get your gator. So you can go see the blue bonnets with Daddy. Yeah, look at this guy. So Johnny has been crushing it. He's been uh, clearing out some of the dead stuff back in these woods and it's just looking so good. It's been really cool because I go out and do preaching stuff and I come back home and the woods look awesome for this guy. By the way, as I'm filming this, I'm heading to Carthage, Texas today for a men's conference called Men of Courage. Chris and I are gonna head out there in like 30 minutes from right now. So bags are packed, ready to go. We're gonna drive there. It's like three, probably three and a half hours or so. And so that's been fun. We've been doing that a lot. <laughs> you stuck, city boy? I know what you're trying to do. I know exactly what you're trying to do. Trying to go drive what he calls into what he calls the mud puddle. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's definitely wild and free out here. Look at look how look how good it's been looking. Johnny's been taking care of the dead growth and um, allowing all the new growth to come in. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you guys. I, you know, in the past I've come on the Smith and I'll talk about blue bonnets coming up in like December as they start to, the little leaves start to come out. And this is the greatest year I've seen on this property. Look at this. You ready for this? just fantastic and it smells so fragrant Parker was out here yesterday and he was like do you plant these no they're all wild I don't plant these at all they they're just native it's a Texas state flower and they they come you know every March and they just reseed themselves so just beautiful I love that we have this section and every year it's been a little bit here this is this is really nice i love this i love it and though pretty soon they're going to go down they're going to start falling off and the indian paint brushes will come up next some people call them indian blanket but those are uh those are coming up next let's see if i can find that example for you so inside inside all the blue bonnets you have these and these are the Indian paintbrushes that will come and these will these will be budding out very soon. And then we'll have a bunch of those fire wheels everywhere. It's, it's gonna be cool. Let me go show you guys the garden. I can't believe it's been so long since I filmed here at the house. Sorry it's windy. But I've got the uh, pollinator garden 
pretty much chopped all the way down so that I could start. Everything has an equal playing field as it starts to come up and we have, you know, some of it starting to come up now. And the hummingbirds have arrived again and the wildflowers everywhere are so beautiful, not just the blue bonnets, that the, the, the hummingbirds are doing great without even sugar water. Let me show you what I have in the garden. So my, my grapes from last year are budding out and starting to come around. Good stuff. Muscadine, Mustang, uh, have all different kinds of cucumbers in this bed over here. This is my herbs and most of this is from last year. Just all, it's all come back and doing nicely. I have Carolina Jasmine here, and uh, these are all flowers from last year again. Uh, the Wisteria coming out, and we're gonna see some beautiful blooms from the Wisteria this year. We didn't have any last year. All this is from last year. Uh, here's my, I saved these little red oaks. Got, I have four of them that, that should do okay, and these are the, li the live oaks from last year's acorns. Um, Afghan pines that I need to get in the ground. These, uh, I'm going to do okra this year, and this is sunflower, Mexican sunflower from last year. I just kept it here, so I'll try to, I'll try to run this. Let me take this off. Actually, I'll try to run this and the okra in the same same bed, and then tomatoes. All different varieties of tomatoes, and actually this is from last year too. These came up from tomatoes that had fallen into the ground last year. In fact, more of them keep coming. There's another one right there. So I'm still finding more and more tomatoes. In fact, so there's tomatoes over here in the blackberries, all from last year. So uh, the garden did really well as far as reproducing itself from the seeds of last year. Woo! So I really haven't had to buy anything besides the, the the squash and the okra and the new tomatoes. So other than that, it's all just been propagated from last year, which is working out nicely. she letting you pet her? How? How's that even possible? They're just born. Lena, that's crazy. Better hurry. Come here. Chris are uh, we're heading down the road. We're going to Carthage, Texas, as promised. We're gonna, I'm going to speak at the Men of Courage conference, I believe. Tonight, it's a multi-church gathering of men tonight in um, some kind of 
working on the message here and driving and I wanted to end this video with a very important message today up toward the light is out it is released so if you haven't heard yet if you haven't seen my socials if you haven't seen us talking about it yet uh, up toward the light the the children's book edition to like a river is now available and you can get it wherever you love to get books do you believe that chris unbelievable what are, I, what are I, just right? I just finished the the last book and then now I got to uh, start the new book, I guess. Yeah, but this one's a this one's a kid book, so you can read it quickly. Okay, so it won't take as long. Are there a lots of pictures? Yes, uh, that's good. Yeah, it's got pictures in it this time. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that helps. Hopefully, at least one person will buy it. At least my mom will buy it. At least Amber will buy it. I know Chris won't. He'll be waiting for a free copy. So you guys, comment below. By the time you watch this video. Uh, you will have seen it so comment below and use hashtag up toward, up toward the light hashtag up toward the light and then say uh, what you think about it if you already have it or if you're anticipating it that way when i search the comments i can find you i love you guys or you could go to any bookstore and just tell them give me the one with the words and the pictures too and the sorry. pictures yeah. all right <laughs> see you guys next video Yee -yee.